Hey, it's James from Fin Electrical. On today's video, we're doing a bit of domestic stuff. So we've got this mirror to pat up there. We've got some uh, pendants to go in the loft, and that's about it. So let's get into this. It's a nice, easy one today. Then, so we had half day just doing some office work. So where have we been then? Do you want to be on this little video? There we go, so we have Matty then, so Matty's doing his, his uh, what is it, work placement, is it? Yeah, work experience. Work experience. So I did it in a pallet yard, shooting nails at my friend. <laughs> but he's with me, so yeah, we've just been, where have we been then? So we've been to that hotel, haven't we, phase two. What else have we done then, can you remember? Uh, um, kitchen. Kitchen, we've done a nice kitchen, which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that in a two-parter, so when this comes out, you might have already seen it. And then we've got the, uh, the uh, well, this job. <laughs> so yeah, he, he had uh, a day off, but we're, we're back on it then. So we've got Matt here today, but for today, what we're gonna do then, we've got to get in this nice loft. So customers have this loft hatch just installed. It's got loads of room, you probably can't see, because GoPro don't work well in the dark. <laughs> Not at all. So this loft's getting boarded out then. So what we're gonna have to do is get a little switch installed. So we'll probably, as you come up then, maybe put a, a switch to the back of this board. So I think they've already screwed this one down, so you have to get a switch on its back, so you've got to flick a switch here, crawl into your loft, and then you can get your light you can get your lights on then. So there's two pendants to go in here, so it'll be nice and bright. So we'll go for one pendant probably over here, clip along, one pendant over there, that'll wire back to your switch, and then we'll have to pick up a feed. So that's just like a pendant live and neutral off the lighting circuit from below then. So that we'll have to try and find that somewhere. Hopefully we can find that. And then after that then, we'll have to pick up that same permanent feed and bring that over there. And we'll have to line up this wall then to find that wall, drill down into the stud work. Hopefully we get a great shot and it lands within the wall. And uh, then fish him down to your mirror. So that's what we're doing then. So it's a bit of a different one. It's a nice, easy job. There's only three things to do. Maybe that'll show you how we do this. There we go, this is the mirror that's going up then. So it's uh, just a little connection on the back. So what we'll have to do is get this in the wall, do a connection in the wall, with like a little Wago connection. Looks like it's got a Bluetooth speaker built in. I think it does, that's a speaker there, isn't it? That's not ventilation, but that's cool, that. So, a little light up mirror, might have a, like a heater thing, so it doesn't frost up. Not frost up, but uh, steam up, that's the word. Right then, so it's gonna go here, and lights are going there, and I strobe the effects, so I'll turn them off. Right then, so. This is going to go here, I've just offered it up with the customer then, so he wants it to land in line with the bottom of this. It's going to be the bottom of the mirror, and it's going to land in this section here then, so between here and here then. So we'll have to mark up for that, mark the top, and then we'll have to offer up uh, these fixing holes. So basically, when you have to put a screw in the wall, and then it'll just hook on and hook into place. I'll show you how we do that. Alright, we'll start with the mirror then. So what I'm going to do then, can you see me? Can you see me? Yes, you can. You might not have to hear me anymore. But I'm right, so just going to hold this up then. And then Matt is going to just do a little line on top of the mirror. So have a look. You grab that then. There we go. Just going to offer it up when I want to do it. Just get a line for now and we'll, we'll center it later. It's two seconds. There we go. Just, just reach in and angle it down. So that's it. That'll do. There we go. So we've got a line we can work off. You're never going to see that line once the mirror's up. But we're going to work off that. So, obviously that line there we've just drawn is this top edge. So what we're going to have to do then is, is measure from here to the end, get the middle, and then we'll have to measure um, out from the middle and down so it lands perfectly in this hole. Because obviously <clears throat> you're going to get your screw on here, and then the screw head will fit through that and then slot through into that, and then it'll land here, anyway along here. And then we'll do the same for the other side. So we'll mark the centre, measure out and down, and then do the same. And then what we're going to do is get a level line between that mark and this mark to make sure the mirror is going to be perfectly level. But also, have you got that level, mate? I'm going to check this is level. <laughs> if not, when we, uh, if, if you if you had that level and this wasn't level, then it might look out. So we might even have to do it out of out of plug. This isn't level, but it looks like slightly out, isn't it? by a tiny bit. Let's check this up right. Yeah, so it's slightly out where we've put this in. So it's out by that much, which, which isn't a massive difference. So I think we should be able to go level and you won't be able to tell the difference. But yeah, if this was way out, it'd make this level uh, mirror look out. Right, we've got his mark for his mirror then. So it was 7, 750 mirror. So 
Oh, that's the middle of that. Right, you hold this then. So now we need to get the middle of this section and this unit. So let's just get that then. Down here then. So one turn, half of one turn. 55 or 550 mil. Just gonna map that up now if we can. That's blue when it's floating. Cool. It's actually centre. Now then, so now we're, we're gonna have to just draw her up so we've got a nice straight line to work off. Da, 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 da. That's a straight line and that's just middle. So when we hang the, the mirror, we want that to land there. So now what we're gonna do is mark between we've got to measure between the top of here to here which will be in the middle of this so we'll have to me measure to about there then won't we well exactly there we'll do it better once we've got two hands so we'll measure from here to there and then measure from this edge down to exactly this point here and then that we'll mark that up on the wall do the same and then we'll level between to make sure it's going to land perfectly level so here we go here we go perfectly level then so this is where we're going to have to actually drilling for that fixing hole then, so there's a fixing hole there and a fixing hole there then. So we'll get that in and then obviously when we, once we get the nice big screw in there, it'll just slide to there, push down and then lock in. So we'll for that fixing and that fixing and then we're just going to mark out for this then. So from the centre then, we'll measure from this line to here and then we'll have to make a, a biggish hole then to hide a junction box for this cable to sit in. There we go then, so this is the Curly Willy Fixing <laughs> chart, if you want to call it, or different fixing charts, there's your Curly Willy Fixings. So if you look there, you can actually do 20kg per one, which is absolute nuts. So what we're going to do is self-pilot these, if it lands in a wooden drawer, it's then great, it'll never move ever. I think it's actually a struggle to, struggle to get it off, but we'll, we'll get a fix in there, fix in there. And this thing, well, this thing weighs about, what, about 3kg, doesn't it? So, make sure these are about to handle these little beasts. Houston, we have wood. Hey, I'm taking the bearings of Half-Life. Right, so we found some wood on here, so that's absolutely solid. We've got this 20 kilo screw in here, and we'll get that mounted shortly. But now, we've got to do the impossible. We've got to measure, it's not really impossible, but <laughs> we've got to measure in between this gap and that gap, so you've only got that much to play with in the loft and we don't want to come through this side or that side so we'll have to measure exactly where we want to be so pull it from here we'll measure up to this wall which takes us to here add on this piece which takes you to that wall and then add on that to the loft hatch and then when we get up there we'll get the tape measure from that loft hatch and it will know where it lines up so that's the that's the tip and hopefully in the loft we should be able to see the top of the joists like the actual, there should be a piece across the top. If we can, then great, we, we know exactly where we can drill. If not, we're gonna have to measure um, from this surface out to the edge of the loft hatch, and then obviously that's your front, that's your front of your, of your plaster, which would be this bit. And then we're just gonna maybe just add on half that gap so we land in the middle to give us the best chance of getting it right. So we're gonna get the measurements then, so I'll call the, these out for Matty. So we're going to go from this hole to that wall then. So we want to go, let's say, one, three, zero, zero. So add that. One, 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 two. And then to the loft hatch then. Six, nine, zero. What have we got? 2,102. 2,102, right. So we're going to go up in the loft and I measure to this edge here. Yeah. That one there. So, we're going to measure off that and now going that way, hopefully we can see, oh, we can see that way. <laughs> see, I need to get my head mount out of, the, uh, out of retirement to just shove it on my head, it's a lot easier. <laughs> but yeah, 2102 then, it's uh, coming down here, I think they've had a re-roof because there's loads of slate knocking about everywhere. Uh, uh, so, the end of that tape measure then is where we need to be and we need to be this way a bit. Let's see if we can do that then. So we'll just carefully, carefully part the seat. Oh, here we go, look at that. That's what we want to see. So that is the top of the wall, this here. So we should, let's have a look. There we go. 
So we'll should, should be able to just to drill straight down in the center of that and we can get his cable down for his, his mirror. There we go. So yeah, when you're gonna drill on the other side where you don't, <clears throat> you can't really mark up maybe. You can go off like little landmarks. <clears throat> Sorry, throw up. You can go off like a, a pipe sticking through the wall or even down lights on the ceiling. So that's a, another option then. <clears throat> so if I measure off this wall, that down light, it's 700. I could find that in the loft and then measure off that down light and it'll tell me where the wall is or the wall front is. And then we've just got to add a little bit on um, to make sure we land in the right position. So that's another option as well. And there we go. So there's your down light down there somewhere. If you can see him. That's the edge of the down light, 750. And it, that is definitely a wall then. So let's get that drilled then. <laughs> There we go, we should be able to see a bit of light down there, hopefully. I don't know if you can on camera, but yeah, we'll send a cable down there next then. And then we'll have to pick up the nearest feed, which is most likely that dodgy junction box here, which we'll have to redo. So there's all the singles hanging out. Lovely. We've only got the earth shore. I'll show you that shortly. It's pretty exciting stuff. All right, we've got a permanent then. So that is a permanent, so we can nick that. We'll come out of that joint, we'll redo that joint. Turn the power off, send the cable down the wall. Connect into there, connect into your mirror, mirror's done. Right then, so we're back, we're back down. <laughs> so then, the cable's there nicely, so that's fished in perfect. So, I think we'll leave plenty of length on it, so if you ever have to take it down again, you can actually wire it up on the floor and shove all the excess in. So that is a good shout, Mr. Mr. Finney, right. So, we can wire that up nicely from the floor. We'll get that in a little wager box, which we'll get shortly. And then we'll hang him up and we'll see how beautiful uh, Matty looks in it at the end. <laughs> Best seat in the house, look at this. Right there, you'll film that Matty. Let's keep that there, don't cover the sound hole. Right then, so we'll wind this up then. So the cool thing is we've got something called Earth Shore. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I might be wrong. So let's just get this stripped then. So we've just got four fingers. Give it a little pull and look it's pre-earth how cool is that so we'll just give it another strip like that look at that and how great is that so you don't have to mess about sleeving it don't fall off and you have to put a little kick in it so it don't fall off i never wired a mirror on the toilet before um there you go easy as that right, there we go that's your connection nice and easy now i'm just going to bang that in a little wagon box in so i'll get rid of that we'll pick that up later Little hole one, hole two, hole three. Push him down, one cable one side, one cable the other. And that's it. Look at that earth, sure. No messing about with sleeving. Right, so, and then we'll be super nerdy and bang a little tire up in there. And there we go. That is connection done. So we'll get the mirror on now. And that is this little second wind done then. Lovely, let's get him on the wall. Perfect, look at that. Beautiful. And there he is, as promised. I said we'll show how good Matt is. And there is a perfectly level mirror. Hehehe, <laughs> that's how you do it. When I'm playing in windows, I will never stop. Climb them blinking ladders till I get right to the top. Right then, so we've got a nice shiny mirror, no fingerprints. So when we connect that up there somewhere, it's over there, isn't it? Press this little button, Bluetooth mirror, we'll get the tunes blasting. Maybe we'll be able to see yourself in that, that nice little light up edge. Should look pretty sweet. So it's now Matty's turn. <laughs> so uh, if you just grab that, remember how we locked out them them 20 mil things yesterday? Just, just very gently on in the middle of that. Yeah. That's it. Put that through. So there we go, we've got this cable entry now. So there'll be a cable coming in, which we're going to call the feed, which is going to nick off that over there. And there's going to be a cable which comes out, which we're going to call light, which will then come up, pull it to the edge, clip along here into your first light, over there to your second light. It's going to be nice and bright in here. So that is the idea. So let's uh, customer wants it mounted obviously here, so he mocks up his loft hatch presses his switch, his lights turn on so what we'll, what we'll do is just get this fixed first then yeah so we'll bring it in a little bit um, 
fix it down and then uh, start running the cables then, yeah. It's getting hard in here. I'll keep on all my clothes, right? So it's absolute boiling in here then, but we've got that cable clipped nice and neat up there. It goes up to the top dangling, you can just see it. Comes all the way into that corner and then out this way, clipped along. Here's this little switch. So then, this is the Earth Shore. So look, is it Earth called Earth Shore? I'm sure it's called Earth Shore. I, don't, I might have made up some new marketing for him. Uh, but yeah, this is why Earth Shore is pretty epic. So let's just get this stripped then. So you get it stripped, it's pre Earth. So it's got, you got, so pre sleeved. So you don't have to mess about them. So, what are we going to do then? So we've taken a feed off the. Uh, that behind me, that little junction box. So we just run it by this switch then. So you've got neutral in, neutral out. So little little two two one way go, whatever they're called. So we're gonna get that in there then. Push that down, get that coiled up. In the back of the switch, and then same for the air sensor. There's no messed them out with air sleeving. These will just bang straight on then. So bang that in there, bang that in there, coil him up. So that's his air through to his light. Little light switch, my click, go so skull more. Well, I've started doing some bits with skull more, haven't we? Like the down lights, the Millie, Millie down light video you've just seen. So let's just undo that one. So it's, it's a light switch then, so it's got, it either picks two positions. If you ever realise it's not just on off, all it, so what it does is just select position one, which it goes from common to L1, and when you flick it, it literally just swaps side to L2. So. So, so what we're going to do then is just wire that in now. So let's just chop them down a little bit, just so they're not hanging out. So we're going to wire the common in there then, like so. Tighten him up, finger tighten a nudge, tug test. And then I'm going to wire in the L1 then. Tighten him up, finger tight, give him a tug. And then what I'm going to do is position him this way, so the customer down on the switch that'll be on i'm going to push away and that'll be off just like as if it were on a wall so let's just get the screw back then and then that'll be this section done then so next after that then we'll have to wire in the feed side behind me so we'll make a we're going to redo that joint essentially because it's a bit janky in it as you saw from earlier i hate the connector block that come with it i prefer wagos all day every day and then we're just going to wire in that pendant at the top and then we've got to then take out of that pendant to an next pendant. So that should be two lights. So I'll show you how we do that then. I'm going to get Matty clipping that. Hopefully, he won't fall through this then. So you, <laughs> you know, but you know, you know where to walk then in a loft. Yeah. So don't step on the clouds. Twenty-four inches apart. <laughs> Here he is. This is the boy that lives in the attic. Right then, so what we're going to do is wire this in then. So he's going to bring the cables through the back. Basically the uh, earth's going to go in here and then we're going to put the blue one, the neutral in there and then the line in the brown one there. I've already talked to her this. I'm not being super vague. It's already stripped for him. So do you want to get that in then? Yeah. And he's balance it. Well, he's, he's making sure he's not uh, not going to uh, fall either in the loft and go through the ceiling. So that's, that's key really. So yeah, just, just, just get them cables through and maybe just bend them outwards just so it'll hold and then you can get one cable in at a time then and see how you do then so we'll come back to this then just so we're not here for a while but it'll get it wired and we'll show you how he's done all right let's go for the tactical reposition is this side aloft now <laughs> without falling through uh you, you, your feet are right yeah you have to where you're standing there we go that's him screwed up then not not, not saying matty screwed up <laughs> i'm saying the, the pendant is but yeah let's give a little tug and wiggle then and that's fine then so we're just going to Put this, uh, get this screwed back up, and uh, that'll be that dangling. So he's managed to get two fixings here on the side of the beam, and the cable just drops in nicely. But that's that's uh, that's solid. That. So I've got to get a, a lamp in that, not a bulb, because bulbs are for growing plants, aren't they? So right there. So we'll we'll get his little bulb in there, his little lamp, and then wire the next one in, and then the fade in, and then we we have light. Right then. We've just done all that, we've got it wired up, we've got a fade, we've done this connection, so we've got a junction box to put on it. We've taken a fade from there down to the mirror. So the mirror, oh, the mirror's working. I'll do these on as then, and then you can do the loft shortly. So we've got that Bluetooth connection, pump out some tunes while she's having a shower. And there we've got, I'm gonna call you Gary then, 
we've got Matty, uh, do, uh, who's basically wired the lights then. So let's have a look then. 14 years old, can he do it? Bang! <laughs> right, up you go. Let's have a look at this. He's actually done it. He hasn't killed anyone. He hasn't come through the, the, the ceilings. So he's done a really good job. There we go. Lovely and bright in here. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's all ready to get boarded out now. So this, these boards will go right across the loft and we'll have loads of space for storage and that. So I'm just going to put my little, my little juncture box on. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Look at this, not the average spark, even hoovers up. Look at that. Look at that, we're on. We've got some sound coming out. So right at that, isn't it? When you have your shower. A bit of a royalty free uh, fun. So then, that's all we've got time for today then. If you like this kind of episode, then uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know we're next upload. As always, I've got it from me, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>